Hi everybody, my name is Chef Melissa Parks and today I'm going to walk you through the simple process of decarbing your cannabis in your home. A couple of things before you even get started is you want to make sure you preheat your oven to 240 degrees. Now, there's a lot of different variances, a lot of different ways that you can actually decarb your cannabis. This is the process that I chose that works best for me. But you also want to make sure that when you check your oven and it says that it's 240 degrees, that that is actually the internal temperature. Because sometimes the weird thing is, is that a temperature difference of 5 to 10 degrees can actually happen in your oven, which will make a huge difference when you're decarbing, even baking. Um, so just make sure you go out and you buy an oven thermometer. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate, um, but as long as you have something in there to indicate the actual temperature in your oven, should be all good to go. I've already preheated my oven to 240 degrees, and I used a thermometer um, that has an electronic mode where I can actually then just shoot the interior of my oven, and it tells me that it's 240 degrees. Again works for me, you don't need to do that. So now that we've figured out the temperature and the time and the type of cannabis that you have in front of you, let's get to decarbing. So you take it from this, so this is actually a big flour, and think about it, when you toast spices for Indian dishes or for basically any dish where you wanna bring out that dried herb and bring out the inherent beauty inside a dried herb, so you toast it a little bit. So you just wanna break it down into those manageable pieces so that way the heat can get evenly distributed throughout the cannabis. And so you just wanna take it from here and find a sheet pan. And it's basically like any cookie sheet and that'll work that you have in your home, don't go and buy a new one, is that you just wanna make sure that it has enough room to breathe. And I mean that kind of figuratively and literally. So when you break it down, you break it into these pieces and you can just rub it between your hands and release it on this pan. So that way when you go to put it in your oven, again, it toasts evenly. And this is one that I've already pre-decarbed. So this is a decarbed form, so it's an active cannabis. So I've taken this, broken it down, I put it in my oven at 240 degrees and I toasted it for, well, here's another tip. Never leave your oven the first time you decarb at home. Never. You need to know the way that your oven is going to work. You need to make sure that it's actually decarbing not too fast, not too slow. So keep an eye on it. Don't go answer the phone. Don't check your emails. Hang around the kitchen. Okay, having said that, make sure that when you put it in your 240 degree oven or the temperature that's appropriate for the cannabis that you have, that you then check on it after 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and 40 minutes, but making sure not to really open your oven door all the way to let the heat and the steam come out. You just wanna take a peek in there in case your oven is kind of dirty on the glass or the light isn't shining through. So you just wanna make sure that it's toasting evenly. So give it a good shake. Just make sure that when you're done, you have nice, toasted, a golden brown color versus this vibrant green cannabis. So you're taking it again from vibrant green to toasted, 240 degrees, and for this total, I did about 40 minutes. So really, in the end, you have one ounce of activated cannabis, and it is ready to go for anything, whether it's your can of oil, can of butter, can of coconut oil, or can of flour. So that way you can then have an active form to bake with, to cook with, to saute. You really just want to make sure that when you're cooking with cannabis, you follow these steps so in your end product, you have something that actually provides you with that THC content. All right, you guys, so now you have your decarbed cannabis and you're ready to go. So until next time, I'm Chef Melissa Parks. Have a great day and hopefully some fun cooking.